What's going on Neon Nation? Welcome back to the Neon Arcade for the first video in what will be a new series covering the developments of Cyberpunk Edgerunners. If you guys are unaware, CD Projekt Red unveiled a surprise during their first episode of the Night City Wire with the announcement of Cyberpunk Edgerunners, a Netflix series in collaboration with infamous Japanese anime studio Trigger that will be releasing sometime in 2022. In a post, CDPR mentions that Cyberpunk Edgerunners tells a standalone 10 episode story about a street kid trying to survive in a technology and body modification obsessed city of the future. Having everything to lose, he chooses to stay alive by becoming an edge runner, a mercenary outlaw also known as a cyberpunk. Now I'm going to apologize if I butcher these names in advance, I know I've done enough damage on these poor Polish CDPR devs names, but I suppose it's now my time to ruin some Japanese ones. Edge runners will be directed by Hiroyuki Imaishi from Gurren Lagann, Kill a Kill and Promare, along with director Masahiku Otsuka from Gurren Lagann and Promare. Creative director is Hiromi Wakabayashi from Kill la Kill and character designer Yo Toshinari from Little Witch Academia and Brand New Animals, as well as Yuto Kaneko from Little Witch Academia. The screenplay will be done by Yoshiki Usa from SSS, Gridman and Promare as well as Masahiku Otsuka from Gurren Lagann, Kill la Kill and Promare. Finally, the original score will be composed by Akira Yamaoka, who has done the Silent Hill series. This is apparently the dream team Trigger has assembled in honor of their 10 year anniversary to work on Edge Runners. It really does seem like anime fans hold all these guys and Studio Trigger as a whole in high regard and I've been personally diving into some of these animes myself to get a better understanding of what the studio puts out. It's been a while but the last anime I really liked was Spirited Away and I have seen some comparisons to Studio Ghibli so this is most definitely something I'm looking forward to. Again I apologize for the pronunciation. Uh, drop a comment, let me know what I'm saying right, what I'm saying wrong, this is going to be a learning process so just bear with me there guys. Now I won't lie, the CGI trailers for Cyberpunk would have also made an amazing series, but I do think an anime based on the 2077 universe has the potential to resonate with genre fans should it be a hit. Clarifying further on what Edgerunners actually is, Japan based producer Saya Elder mentions that they didn't want to make a recreation of the game. The location will still be in Night City but it will also feature new characters and a new story. They're also hoping to make this a gateway for newcomers to the cyberpunk game and the genre. If you guys remember a couple months ago, I actually made a video on why a cyberpunk Netflix series would be a hit and referenced the Blade Runner anime and The Witcher as being more recent series that stood out to me as showing the potential of a cyberpunk 2077 series. The Witcher in particular led to massive sales of The Witcher games so it only makes sense that CDPR would attempt to recreate this positive sales feedback loop between other mediums. All in all, I'm super excited about a cyberpunk Netflix series that will open up new stories within Night City and hopefully cement CDPR's and by extension Mike Pondsmith's vision into some of the more mainstream media. Again, I will be following developments on this series as I have been with the game so far, so if you are excited for Edge Runners, make sure you keep an eye out for that type of content on the channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and for more cyberpunk, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.